Hi friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can build a streaming player like this one you see on the simulator here that can actually stream videos over the internet. So this is uh, basically the uh, blue book, uh, as you can see over here. And this is actually pointing to this link over here. All right. So let me just bring this out of the way. So today I want to share with you how you can uh, build a player like that to stream all the different uh, uh, links. And more importantly, if you want to house your own video and you want to stream them on your own uh, production apps, how can you do that? All right. I'm going to introduce you a service later that allows you to do the encoding and uh, the streaming, which generates the M3U8 file link for you. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. I have a blank Xcode project over here and I want to show you how you can build this from scratch. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is to import AVKit. Okay, so let me just run the simulator to ensure that everything is working fine. And then uh, while this is running, uh, let's build the video player. Okay, so let's create a strut over here. So strut, let's call this a video player view. So this will be a Swift UI view. So obviously, since we confirm to the view protocol, we need to have the body inside. So some view and let's uh, have a V stack over here. Okay, V stack. Okay, so what do we need? We need an instance of the AV player. So let's do private var uh, AV, or, or I think we can just call it player equals to AV player. And since uh, we want to be able to control the player, uh, we have to add the add state inside so that we can call some functions uh, like play, like pause, things like that. All right. And also we want this video player view to be dynamic. All right. So what we can do is to uh, have a URL over here. So uh, whoever who initiates this video player view will have to pass in the URL. Okay, so later in the video, I'm going to share with you how you can find this uh, M3U at links to just play around. All right, so for now, let's uh, continue with the video player. So inside the VStack, I'm going to add a video player and then let's pass in the player and uh, let's uh, have a height for that. So maybe let's do 300. And then more importantly, I need to be able to pass in the URL. Okay, so to do that, let's go on appear and then we can say player equals to AV player. Uh, let's initialize this URL just like that. Okay, and below the VStack, I'm going to create a couple of controls. So let's do a hitch. Okay, but before we do that, let's ensure that this is looking at least somewhat working. So I'm going to just remove uh, everything over here and then just um, pass in the URL here. So I'm going to do dot init and uh, init from string. Where is the string? Over here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to find those links. Okay, so let's come over to Google and then I'm going to type in Bloomberg M3U8. And if you see over here in the, uh, the Reddit, the first search result, it should appear as the first search result for yourself as well. There are a couple of links that you can play around. So I'm just going to select the one that's in Asia. Just copy this, bring this out of the way and then just paste this in like that. Okay, I think I need to do an exclamation to uh, to unwrap this. And uh, just running this off the bat is not going to work because the video is not going to be playing. So what we need to do is to call uh, the play method. So uh, if you see, if you run this right now, nothing's going to happen. Okay, let's do video.play and then let's run this again. And I believe uh, the video should play at the moment the view is being loaded. All right, so let's just wait for a while for that to happen. All right, so as you can see, oh, good old Joe Biden. All right, so now I'm going to hit the stop button and then let's add those uh, toggles here. So I want to have a hitch stack and then uh, let's have a button. So just really simple. We want to just have an action and a label. So for the action, I'm going to do player dot uh, pause. And then inside the label, uh, let's have a pause like that. And then we can duplicate this. And then we can call this play. And then for the text, we can call this play as well. So now I'm not going to play automatically. Okay, let's run this and see if this is working. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to show you how you can host your own video uh, uh, on a site called a, a special gen. All right. So uh, let this look for a while. Hit the play button. All right. And I can pause as well. Okay. All right. So I want to talk to you how you can host your own files. And this is called Special Gen. This is the sponsor of the video as well. So let me show it to you how you can quickly upload a file and do that very quickly. Okay. So let's go to dashboard and then uh, let's uh, add a video. And I have a video that's prepared already. So uh, let me just upload one video right now. So I'm going to call this uh, just a people. 
working i have a stock video to to use all right so i'm going to hit local file and i have that inside my downloads folder all right so it's going to look something like that just a really uh, a stock video over here so let me just uh, hit the upload button. Okay, one of the beauty of using a uh, special gen is that you don't have to worry too much about settings like codecs and things like that. It's pretty straightforward for lay people uh, like us. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the upload button and I'm just gonna wait for a while. And once this is done, then I need to generate the streaming file. All right, so let me just uh, cut uh, when the video uh, ends. All right, so the file has been uploaded and all I need to do is to just come onto it and just hit the stream button and uh, this will create the M3U8 file, okay? All right, so I'm over here and this page allows me to set uh, the resolution that I need. So I don't need anything too fancy. So I'm just going to X off them and then just keep the 720p and just hit the create button. All right, so I waited about a minute. I refreshed the page and it looks like it's done right now. So when I click onto this, notice that I have a stream URL over here, which I can use. Uh, to link to the video player. All right, so I, I'm just gonna hit copy and then let me just come to the, pro, uh, the project over here and just replace this. And right now when I play this, I believe I should be able to see my video showing up on the simulator. All right, so let's check it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit the play button. Yep, and notice over here, I have the video that's being played out. I believe I have to set the ratio just for this to work, but I'll leave that uh, to you. All right, so uh, if you are interested in special gen, uh, feel free to use my promo code Kelvin when you are doing the checkout to get a 50% off. All right, for now, that's all I have for you in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.